to the Isle of Man. Smart meters from Manch Utilities Smart for Living. The new electricity meters will collect regular energy usage data from owners and businesses and will automatically send this to Manch Utilities via a secure, low power wireless network. Smart meters can also provide you with more detailed information about your own energy usage. They can help you to identify where and when you consume electricity, so that you can make choices on how you use your energy. With better information, you can make changes that help you do more good for the environment by using less energy. And this can also save you money. Small changes can make a big difference. If you are a credit customer, your bills will always be accurate. This means you'll always be billed for the amount of power you use, not an estimated amount. If you are a key user customer, you will no longer have to go out to the shop to top up. You will be a smart per page you go customer, and you can top up anytime, anywhere, on your easy to use app. This app can be used on your smartphone, tablet, or PC, but you can still top up at a number of stores if you prefer. If you are a page you go customer, we will be in touch soon to tell you when we can be in your area. In the meantime, to learn more about the Isle of Man's smart meter program, Visit ManchUtilities.io. ManchUtilities is introducing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> the of the day. Right, morning everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. So today, uh, as Vivian said, quite a lot of the principles really about what we're up to do, but I talked a bit about benefits, uh, smart pay to go, which is one of our early deliverables. So the progress to date, uh, some of the timetables ahead of us, next steps, what, what, what's around the corner. Um, and then I'll hand over to Sarah and talk through the video which you've already seen, the smart living concept, new branding for us, and sort of stakeholder engagement, which is Sarah's role within the program. So, in terms of benefits, um, it's an 80 million pound program for the next 10 years. And obviously, my facility needs to be benefit the Orphan Wide, the Arthur Man, um, a number of key doubles. Focuses on free payment, so keep it consistent that it's issued to the lease. I think it fell over again last weekend, so I'm going to pop up a little more this weekend. Um, so, really replacing that, delivering a reliable to those customers. But for credit customers, uh, an end to estimated bills. The other benefits, really, uh, from the program about uh, our island at zero future. Customers will be able to talk between credit and free payment. Uh, and to entire us, that's all of our competitors now. At the moment, it's a meter chain, right on our side. The bills are rolling out to the properties and the car aspects there, changing the meter, scrapping the meter. The new system puts everything back in the office and it's a standard route across the uh, entire service. So the increased visibility consumption will help customers, uh, commercial and domestic, make a full choice about free usage. And of course, we'll continue to promote energy efficiency across the island. Smart meter is fundamental to creating a smart grid. We'll talk a bit more about this later. Um, but it really is an essential component for increased the uptake of heat pumps, solar panel, pressure vehicles, all the aspects where uh, heat to deliver and uh, deploy. Um, and so, supporting that growth, um, smart meters and all this capability has the potential to create heat. Fintech jobs, varied areas, whether it's installing solar panels or it's an underground network of communities in the air. But the digitization of the energy system really allows for digitization of online facilities. Uh, and we strongly believe that providing customers with useful and accurate consumption information promotes the thinking about energy as a precious resource, which it is, uh, supports my utility service to try to change the game. Talk briefly about smart pay to go, uh, but it is our new product. Um, and a lot of domestic and commercial customers the opportunity to pay via a credit or a pay to go mode. It's very similar to mobile phones, it takes away the key components, all them, all them digitally. Customers the top quickly and easily, anytime of day they want to swap by the one of them, buy the smart living app. Um, to be able to have a notification if you're on a holiday, you don't need to physically disconnect, obviously, you've got a way to travel. Anyway, you've got Wi Fi here, yeah, etc. Create a visibility control for what we use and spend, um, to update via the app or the web portal. Uh, key thing now is to stop being on chat and move through that credit. We'll send SMS and that alert through the app to let you know where you are to pay your fees as well. And we'll talk about enhanced support for customers. Uh, a key aspect of that. Not all of our key meters now have the connection bills. So some key meters will disconnect today, some days, uh, some don't. So that's difficult for us to manage if a key meter falls or if the uh, app doesn't generate that credit. Put this into this new platform allow us to offer those sort of uh, like a capability to more customers, manage it remotely, no one no one has to go to site to see if you that credit, but the user will know on the back. In terms of progress, um, the smart meter system is a free component. We've got digital meters. Um, we talk about smart meters, which is a specific name of smart meter, it's a general tag. 
we've been sold digital music to this much for the last couple of years. The, the club that really is linked to this too much utility, brings too much utility via integration network. Uh, we've rolled out a, a as you sort of alluded to, a low power SKU radio system, and it links the meters directly into our offices and the data market storage on the GPS alone. It's a holy hour meter manufacturer, uh, very little bit for single phase meter. Um, but in terms of benefits for us, as long as we've got just the meters that we need, uh, if people's homes are in stock, um, this new product is up for for all domestic customers. Not home meter, it's not prepay meter, it's not EV meter, it's not solar generation meter, it's just our whole product. So, any change in that we can scale to the back office. Um, there's three different varieties depending on the scale of the commercial organization from a small shop up to the hospital, for example, data centers. Very simple um, benefit from just, just meter stock. Truly provide our cold network. Um, we are rolling out a what's it called gig alerts, it's a similar to one as the frequency, uh, points is multi-point. So we've got across the island about 25 antennas, something like that. Um, this is the airport, people's head, and then the beer is called the field. Uh, and that's given us um, or will give us blanket coverage across the island. So at the moment we've got 20 site commissions and uh, another two coming in the next week. And the design specification is up to 25 across the island, like capability of coverage. Um, it's not 5G, which is a key question people ran away. It's not for transmission large volumes of data, it's short passes of data. But in terms of being able to penetrate into the big stairs or in the garage where the meter is, it's not reliant on cellular technology at all, um, and it's optimized for underground, even into uh, sensors built in the ground to ship the pass. This technology is used on top of our So we've got confidence in uh, achieving good penetration rates across the island as well. And our third partner is Hillsbrand. So Hillsbrand provide our free payments and data management tools, but also provide our customer engagement services. So there's a the merchant app, which will be in uh, the shop for free payments. Uh, but also the customer app, um, not great screen grabs uh, on the stretch to the side, but credit customer on the left and the keypad customer on the right. So you can go down to 30 minute information, view credit, and the top right hand key developments towards real time information. You can see that second by second uh, granularity. The big thing with free payments is not to walk to the shop, stop the credit, or then come back to the original. Top up, push a button, uh, you need to come back on. Uh, it's an easy thing. But again, looking further forward to uh, alerts around weather. So, if I think something in my ceiling is in the consumption, perhaps I can early or expect it's not an issue with meter, it's cold weather, maybe it needs to be more consumption. Right through to the point of time, presenting carbon information, carbon intensity of supply, um, and ultimately down to sort of disaggregation of the data to provide feedback to various. Um, We've noticed this is an opt in solution, um, but perhaps look at the So, I don't know why the piece of information is going up. If you bought X for example, now you might say X for a little bit, X for a little So, that's real future end for um, the capability to be able to take, take travel into the facility. So, milestones in progress. Um, it's fair to say, last day with people, so we challenging. Um, certainly in sort of our risk register, a global pandemic won't be quite as bad as imagined. Um, <laughs> then the government's report uh, was a bit of worries. So uh, it's more challenges. I mean, working digitally has advantages, but it's got some limitations. But um, we progressed well. We're well into the system testing now. Uh, this has been isolated testing of our individual components. We've got 14,000 single phase meters in stores. They've all been fast tested and ready to service. Um, Common network testing is going well. We're just optimizing the site we've got on that previous slide to make sure that's uh, ready for rollout. Uh, and back office systems, we're uh, well on with that now. We move on time at the end of this month into 
with French acid, this is where we dissolve our protein into and get rid of part of its relation. We've got about three to four hundred customers supplied with the part of its relations, and this will be us uh, evolving and developing our processes, our engagement with customers, our product process. So the technology works, it's good in people's homes, and it's scaled with the rollout and around the country. And then we'll move into the trial. So this is uh, targeted in all the plant area. So from dry to, to the micro really, we've got our 360 unit customers there. We'll target them. Fortunately, where they stop to, that's why it's in summer holidays. You can see that's potentially a challenge in terms of people vacation leaving home or not leaving home. We're not sure about the whole work now, but um, we'll evolve our process, we'll evolve the communication. Uh, which said I'll talk about some of the uh, results we've got there. But really learn what works for customers in terms of appointments, um, how does the system work, how does the uh, information website work. So we'll, we'll keep tweeting that to get through. And uh, come September and into October, uh, we'll be mounted by installation rates as more restores are credited with our, with our organization. And uh, we'll move down to Peel and around the South of Ireland. And come around to Dublin. So we've got 8,000 people to these customers. All the hardware they're very good with markets. Uh, so we get to them last but within the sort of next six to nine months. And uh, then we'll grow on to uh, have some credit customers. In terms of other aspects for 2021, uh, a lot of scope for wider innovation. Um, key one I'm alluding to is providing real time information. That could be via what the kind of UK level that's called smart meter, turn on display, a little tablet type device that links to your meter, uh, or direct to a um, device. So we've developed a different approach to the UK. Um, in the UK, it was mandated on the display. There's a lot of waste for that approach. We're taking this as a uh, not lecture, really. So you can connect all of your potential meters. Into your iPad or your tablet or your mobile phone and see real time information, or to display if you want to run on that as well. And we're working with the government as part of their efforts in that area as well. So, to keep the business, uh, we'll take delivery of our fresh meat this summer and we'll be able to look at our offers for commercial customers. And I think um, I'm certainly interested to know business and how we best support them. Uh, transition to net zero. Um, Hildebrand has got a variant of the, for the app, which is for use for estate managers. So they're probably going to see it in the next thing, yeah, or council. So I think it's called school in particular, be the one idea of shape, because I'm sure it's building. I know they're already looking about what, where to spend their investment. Um, so we believe this can help to leverage information about that and prove. Not only the spend is just the price, but also for the payback as well. I think a really exciting one. I'll come back to the video uh, of the challenge of technologies. But further work with Southie University and their Energy House 2 project. I've also built a fund of the video where they essentially build a living lab, so they can build uh, various types. I think it's over 90% of the world's housing stock into the tech lab. It can snow, uh, it can rain. Um, people can live in houses, people can get people living in this type of um, But we're going to create a, a bearing cloud farm for all our urban centers with our urban partners. Really keen to work with uh, stakeholders on the office to look at how best uh, we can take the smart feature and system and leverage the real benefits to our way to leverage the carbon savings. So I'll leave the video there. We'll Hampered by the COVID, but started really getting things off the arm. We keep the best at 2.2. Um, but that's, that's a really exciting journey to actually see as well. Further down the road, um, smart meters for a lot of further services, absolutely. Um, next steps would include industry internet things. We've already got a little bit of smart street lighting on, but our platform can. Absolutely accommodate that. 
climate environment monitoring on grid lights, um, traffic pollution, traffic flows, car plant monitoring. Um, there's a lot more to come on that platform. It's, it'll be built and prepared to go as a case of finding the uh, finding the metrics one to measure and then come back back up to the team to present that information. Internal externally, we've got further visualization of our services, uh, the online self-serve, right through to changing our uh, service to go to or go away for four hours as uh, an offering to the services. That should be even built for our sake. The market in the UK is it's the driving chain. I think we, we are a lot to get to the world to stay on that. Smart healthcare, um, we reached out about this morning. Um, that's another area we expect to see interest. This is not something we'll be up on, but this is something we can put a bit more together. It's also getting technicians around smart metering, um, but it's of real interest to sort of health authorities. This can be monitoring of people living alone, right through to screen for fuel poverty. Um, so really powerful uh, information on the back of this. And it leads on to other aspirations of electrical gate computing. There's linking to healthcare, there's a really interesting case of that one of the prescriptions. So this was a local authority retrofit scheme. It did approximately 3,000 houses. And not only did those houses see a 25% reduction in emissions, anecdotally, feedback uh, from, the, from the customers, the residents, was they felt better. Um, so they did a bit more research and said, actually, NHS England supported, supported it, so just the structure alone, uh, the 28% reduction in fuel poverty is the biggest factor area, and a 33% reduction in that pension plan. This was all down. Housing properly. So they, they saw that overall house capacity is 3.42%. The air quality is better, it's getting rid of the mold, it's getting rid of the uh, respiratory issues, and bedroom temperature is minus 40%. Um, so there's a huge potential like, to, to link government services here and make a big difference across the island. And this is a uh, study from the local talk to solve it to take in uh, energy. Inputs on house, taking temperature inside and outside and see what kind of difference has got in the world. That information is there to use. Some will the way into the research that we did. We were heavily involved with this forum before. Um, and we have actually got a call here for the next week to look at how we can progress that. Potential innovation, we certainly see this around the world in the UK with talking about office energy in the UK, plus in Paris. Particularly around time of use. Um, got a slide of time of use next, but sit of device, uh, the research was done in Paris. 75% of their users said they're happy with Paris. So it's a potential figure. We've seen it in some of the feedback uh, from customers. Are you getting involved in the topic of Paris? But actually, most people, when they fully understand the concept, were happy with it. And in their, their studies, they saw a 5%. Five to ten percent shift in heat flows. So this isn't about energy efficiency stuff. It's about moving behaviour. And um, whilst customers who did engage with it saw a sort of minus saving about five hundred euro. Those that automated some of their appliances, uh, particularly new trucks, like the vehicles, new trucks, saw a seventy pounds per year saving. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And this to show works well for national services as well. This is at one of our private substations uh, in Douglas, larger residential, but still does the work on it. Um, and the key aspect is this quite cool. Is that one, sorry? Uh, this is peak peak shift up here. This is your lighting load in winter, this is your construction load. Uh, what we've got interested enough is these two down here. That's our off peak domestic load. That's our truck heat. That's the electric heating on the promenade. And in Douglas, Spike up and the clocks change around midnight about 2 pm as well. So we have the time use times, they do work. Um, what we need to do is get rid of that. So we can flatten that curve. <coughs> there. Very easy to do on paper. 
and that was about a 20 percent shift uh, which certainly with automation and certainly get more electrification across transport and heating more than achievable and in terms of what's that saving 10 percent or 20 percent of Manchester heat about one diesel engine we can switch one diesel engine on the whole Chain now to the power down to the generation. Uh, yes, it's peak in the winter and there's, there's potential different powers in the summer. Um, different area of the arm. So, so maybe we can look at the load uh, data of that for heat and, and create a panel for the power cell off around it. But their profiles are different to this. Lawn tree in this area here is flat, it's, it's business done. I'm not that I got the one. Where just up the road uh, in Douglas, she got that traditional residential too. So. We can look at that data uh, and look potentially to see how it's So, thank you. Last one. Fine. Uh, well, you know, in a way, it reads a little bit rather than just read it, but there are, I think there are some things in your chain you want to capture. So, um, I talked about us not having done a lot of marketing in the past. And I read a piece of research that says, on average, customers think about their utilities provided for about nine minutes a year. And that's probably just when the bill comes in or when the bill is from. <laughs> uh, so we considered we had a really sort of you know, quite exciting opportunity for a case to start talking to customers and to, uh, to, to have a monopoly doing to them that actually find out about some of the things that they wanted. So, we created a new brand called Smart Living. Um, sits very much within the overall brand of managed utilities, um, but it was created obviously to promote the Smart Meter program, but also to support the government's climate change mitigation strategy because we know, having just put the leaflet out and some of the uh, feedback that we've had, there's a huge pent up customer interest in some of the new technologies like heat pumps and. Uh, solar panels, electric vehicles, people who are thinking about the changes which are coming down the line aren't necessarily suited up or ready to make those kind of moves. And we think we can start some of these conversations to help us potentially work with the public maybe about to have to find more about the changes which are which are coming. And so by and large we've been very, very pleased with the response and the level of engagement that we've had from customers. Um, as Graham alluded, there are some uh, consensus who believe the need is to spy on them or fear they use 5G, more concerned about EMF emissions or whatever. But we, we recognize those concerns and we'll try and address those concerns in the prompts that we, that we put out and try to reassure people who may have you know, some concerns. So, um, smart living, as you see, we use the green that was inside the existing management facilities thing. So, green is a because it's a, it's, a, it's a document we all understand to be, uh, you know, in the climate change argument, I suppose. And, uh, and, and the smarter pay to go, which is for those people to make comfortable so that the people can have the pieces in place. So maybe we'll start to see that around if that's the plan. Um, the rather lovely PHE means, so we're trying to put our money where our mouth is as well and trying to sort of uh, move towards gently move towards electrifying the, the fleet and it's tricky sometimes because of range you know if, if you guys are sort of stuck out helping people in a huge snow drift or whatever they've got to be able to get back again you know without without the charging them up but then keep an eye out because you'll see them around on, on the streets so we're very pleased with the new branding um just check again so the so stakeholder engagement process then really um covers a number of areas. Um, with events, um, we've already done a number of presentations to the non-symbol members, the media, uh, a range of third sector organisations. Um, clearly, they are representing vulnerable customers. Some vulnerable customers are very concerned about the changes that are coming down the line, so we want to make sure that they're working with them, not just imposing these changes on, on people. Still to come, we've got some sessions in the locations where we're going to be rolling out. So sort of a, a village hall meet and greet, if you will, you know, just so people who are maybe haven't read the, le the leaflet or they're not keeping up on this stuff and they suddenly get the letter to say we're coming to your house and they may have questions. So we want to do that engagement piece of it rather than just 
um, there's a door drop which I there are a few of those there if anybody is interested put it straight to this when it arrives last, last week I hope not um, the, uh, that, that information book that went to every home and every business on the island of man so it was a general introduction to smart metering because it's a piece of mass communication not everybody understands you know we can't go on and on about the universe necessarily people are you know not, not like that so it's a very general sort of piece of, piece of, uh, of, of introduction we knew it would, would potent, potentially flush through or give us a feeling for what we call the state you know like what people use for one and um i you know, something i read last night there are still certain bits of, of people who are not interested or are scared so we've still got some real engagement to do with it um it prepares you know obviously that prepares people for the installation programs things they're hearing we've got stuff on the radio we've got you know other other comms out there social media maybe as well as the videos you've already seen the first one um very proud that we used a young startup here based here so a, a young local company called Amish in Spain um and uh, so it's nice it's nice to support support the local business as well which is great um, again, the one that you saw is just a generic one about the program. The second one is about information. We'll have um, others forthcoming about how to use the app how to support the pay to go customers and um, energy efficiency tips and, and so forth. So there'll be things just a different way of getting the information to customers. We're about to launch um, a microsite within the main managed facilities website. Um, so that has this new look and feel and this new smart delivery graphics. So lots of white space, lots of green, and hopefully will help again allay some customers' questions, any concerns they have, a bit of self-serve, I suppose, you know, that tech sending people towards the website that they can find out some of the information themselves. No calls, very, very happy to help. Um, then the survey actually uh, in, in 2020 we did a survey um, to ascertain customers attitude to smart meters and what how they felt about the program and that research was carried out by a uh, some of you may have known island global research it's a very big company that works across uh, the island um, very well respected so at the time of that survey only one in ten people believed that they knew a lot about the program so there's not much knowledge of the proposed benefits. Um, so we knew that we had to build better recognition and understanding of those benefits into into the forest. Some of the results from that, 76%, um, which is encouraging, believe that Manchester Utilities needs to take action to help the island reduce its emissions. 71% were conscious of their carbon footprint. 63% concerned about the impact of the energy that they use at home. Um, and slightly weighted towards pay to go customers believe it will deliver positive changes, but you can understand that if you were at home at 10 to 10 and your electricity ran out and you had to choose, you know, between leaving the kids or running out to the spa, you know, the fact that you're, you could do that on your phone. So the benefits I think are probably quite, you know, quite straightforward for the pay to go customers. 56% of the people we asked were interested, but as I said earlier, one in 10 actually knew a lot about it. And one of the biggest things that, that we pulled out was people were very concerned that we would put the cost of electricity up because of the program. They will, the, the cost of electricity will not go up as a direct result of this program. Okay, that is um, that's an absolute. Um, we had about 1,090 Manx residents respond to this, so it's a pretty good response compared to some. Um, you know, I, some of the island global research does a lot of work for government, so it's a very, um, very respectable survey. Um, there were some other customers expressed in there, um, you know, how we deal with vulnerable customers, which we mentioned, um, and observing, closely observing the role that we are going to have to play in the island's climate change mitigation efforts. Um, most people understood that the benefits were improving the energy, their understanding of their own energy consumption. Um, so, you know, we, we, we're encouraged by ha 
how engaged I get the public in the business of hotel. Thank you, Mr. Dinner. But me, really, um, I think we've got one more video at the end of the video, and then questions. Then we can spread our So this is an intro to engine house two, which is a software existing uh, Tesla in the UK. Still funding that? They were. <laughs> uh, whether or not they're not sure, but we've seen um, just even there uh, some old engine house there. They um, got a couple of products to market. One is um, a new window sun. So actually, what well, I can see here, they hit any of these windows. So they've uh, worked with a company in the UK and they've got a like, vented system, which will just sort of just push the heat back into the building uh, rather than any go. So just, just little things like that, they can take the concept, demonstrate, test it, show you the actual answers rather than just sticking to it. Uh, but they're testing even there, some of the old cycles. Uh, but no, really, really interested to work with them. I went to start to see a first house 10, 12 years ago, and the tech they put on the bike, some metrics on an old Manchester Terrace house. Um, uh, I think that's in your opinion, I think that's a real interest. Chamber zero carbon group as well because there is that retrofitting element to what we've got to think about, you know. And I think probably some of that Manchester housing stock is probably refuse to be able to sort of them back to back because you know they've just been kind of thrown up in you know between wars and all of that sort of stuff. So I, I think some of the work that they're doing here will be 
so they're keen to sort of bring it bring it back to the R and so uh, yes use use our technology platform but but college with university really to be able to take part of our project to sort of look at the application of these uh data models uh and deliver some some results for society. So, any questions? You could have a project with and you could have a housing project with them. They could be very good rather than as you are. Just start, and I think they're going through it very uh, Jeremy. Uh, but I think it's, I found it's quite right. If you get this knowledge, you get an X, you go down and look where it can go. And this is where we say our sort of home is with looking for the data models and what we've got. There's more to do. Uh, we certainly want to put an event. July, which is Valentine. Um, so we just, we just see if we have a place to put them to be at our table to sort of make these kind of meetings and stuff. It'll be our platform, uh, smart meeting technology to do it, but really it's just bringing life into the right of the room for some meetings as well. We just have to revolve around that meeting rather than doing anything else. So we are about generating talent to say this is just going to help. You mentioned um, data protection. Um, so do you fall under GDPR rules? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I guess that would that would um, alleviate some of the doubters out there if they were aware that their the data is actually publicly protected. Yeah. So it's not um, going to be sold on. Or no, no, no. Again, we're, we're we're not social organisation. It's not our sort of secondary uh, selling point for us to just leave that on. So it's being thrown that message, and so uh, we met. Very early on with the ICO to discuss how to perform with that. Um, it's about covering that billing and then managing that system. I think really with smart grids and, and technology, we need to with that data because it's capable of uh, aggregating that data to look at and perform for all of any concerns that come by how it's being able to find it. The online is not Facebook, it seems to be the airport. We don't really want yeah, it's really very that message. It's not, it's not an outcome at all. And that's, you like what I was talking about, the kind of the other benefits, and that's the medical aspect of some of the uh, research that popped in. We did a trial with three models, the almost entire with the losses of the voltage network. That was in key areas in Ireland, and that was full of front data. And to explain just what we want to do, something on the model is we're looking at losses of the network. We need your network to leave that four hour grid to, uh, yeah, it's just really great. So the vast majority of customers, apart from the employer, is all one doctor. If you don't engage with it, it's for these bills. If you ask it, you know it. It's really easy. That's why you can include it. It's really a, it's like the same size of TV. So we've got TVs in the flat pan size. So you know, all the kind of meters are a little bit bigger, some of the smaller uh, models are just a straight swap out. So, really, the, the, the convenience they want to be And you're not bonding. So, Ray, I have a, a question about the cost of the meters, I guess, yes. and particularly in relation to the split power. So, at the moment, if somebody buys an electric vehicle and they, they put in a charge point, um, you can you get a smart meter in order to uh, take advantage of the lower tariff, which currently would uh, bring some amount to be one o'clock there at the two o'clock there at the top, something like that. So, in order to do that, if somebody is buying an electric vehicle, um, and they need the charge point and they want to take advantage of the lower rate, it's about 50% less, right? Yeah, so it's obviously advantageous to do that. Um, you have to pay for the meter. So at what point does the customer not pay for the meter? Because now the people who are putting in, so I was charged 130 pounds for that meter to put it in. So at some point in the future, you've got a cost. I assume you're not charging everybody on the island 130 pounds. Not when we go live. So since we go live. So that, that crossover point is quite important, actually, in terms of customer satisfaction. Because a lot of people are putting in EVs. Doing so because they want to contribute to decarbonization, even though they know it's expensive. Yeah. Putting the charge point in alone is not far short of a thousand pounds. Yeah. Just so, to, sorry, sorry, yes. just in terms of cost, 
takes all of the hundred words in plus five days of data. Specifically, um, the advent and all statistics for the upgrades tails. So there's actually taking more loads sometimes you put those tables. So I think uh, the meter upwards about 40 50 pounds it's, it's about a quarter of or a third of that actual cost um but i wasn't really complaining about the cost itself more than how yeah, you're, 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 you're going to have a point where some people have paid and some people are not paid yeah and the rollout of the meters on the island is going to be done according to logistical requirements yeah. it's not necessarily the richest people get it first you know or the people in ramsey get it first it's more logistically based because you've obviously got to keep that up with the teams available etc so i would anticipate some difficulties at that point actually well, you may get people holding back yeah. thinking yes. i want to get an electric vehicle armature away yeah. till i get my free yeah. free yeah. Free yeah. Free so, free. so any, anybody yes. with um policy anything with the uh, work on pv which is once yeah. uh so we've got to say which is um we had the risk of say the first wave was doing this this year or first issue of the first of the issue so as soon as we are not confident to say this is why we would have that now uh and people may hold off but it's it's difficult you can't roll the meter out of that and it work so we have to be absolutely sure that it's delivered to the to make that announcement and we'll get out so as soon as we're ready to apply every meter install whether that's in the united states our seller or specific for ev we'll get small meter we have to manage that appetite on top of the rollout. So it brings its challenges, but no, I fully set the point. It's essentially those that just paid yesterday, we we'll change it today. Um, so we need to, as soon as we get confidence, we need to start applying now. So once the rollout happens, so even if that's not the rules, does that mean if somebody in a different jurisdiction of the island is actually then paying actual money for the point? Do you it then Okay, yeah. have to yeah. so so all, all, it actually in terms of this all the meter, it's not the same book as well. Uh, but we've got the digital rules book they all start to go that way. So we've got to get all our staff accredited to install these meters. So that's an internal training program. Um permit meter installation will burn a house down to this level. So we can't take any chance of that. So every now that that is out of that store, we push down the side off the meter. Once that's done, um, every, I say, as soon as you go live, every thing will change. Every new visa, the new pass and say, every new result will be responded to. Uh, but you're right, that for those who have jumped, uh, I know we've talked about, so you hang on, how much you hang on, Bob. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking, you know, Sarah, you, you do something, you know, the fact that people get this lower rate, which applies to any appliance, not just the electric vehicles, I understand. <coughs> The fact that people can then, if they want to, set their washing machine to go off at three o'clock in the morning. Like all the colleagues said, I remember my yes. mum doing that. Yeah. 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 I still do it. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of your publicity campaigns, in terms of, okay, well, people haven't to pay for to start with, but they're making a saving, maybe you could use that type of message yes. okay. more efficiently to show people, well, look, okay, fair enough, you're having to. So in a sense, they're amortizing the cost of the meter over a longer period of time yeah. because they have access to cheaper electricity. Yeah. Did but you put that as part of your message? It might be more yeah. digestible. Yes, that's great. I think some of the rest of the meters around that net zero thing as well, part of the MUA is it as well, like some of the things like here, just from all of the infrastructure. Think about what well, how do you want to be charging point six. People don't know where to go to unless they go to the MUA. And actually they don't they don't know that part of it. And the other side like the school points as well, isn't it? I mean, where are we up to on the scheme with the MUA with regard to that trial and so, don't know the details about where but the second problem is sanctions and the last there. Um I think tender is closed. Uh, I think she has more okay. than that. So I'll be doing a range of on that aspect. Uh, I'm also happy to take back given our relative confidence that we will be starting next few months. We've got a charging meeting. I'm quite happy to take that back and look at actually particularly effective white out some of the metering aspects of connection charge, where they start waiving that now as well. So we'll take that back this week. Um, which gives us a response to the method. There is still a design analysis and so and higher charge and for, for an EV. Um, but no, the 
We've also got um, remember on spot the videos you have, but there are anything you say for so we've picked up certainly the interest from that we've already got huge amount of investment. So we're trying to put that out as well. Yeah. And again, as you rightly like say, it's if people want to understand yeah. what it means for them. I'm yeah, just those are means for them. So they may not be ready to buy at the yeah. point, but they not, they want to understand yeah. the planning yeah. aspect, isn't it? Yeah. They've got a uh, you know a, a gas or an oil pipe yes. boiler that yeah. they know they're going to need for the pipe absolutely in the next you know 12, 24 months, whatever that might look like. Yeah. And at the moment, those people don't know what the other options are or where yeah. to look for. And so <coughs> we, we had this got very, yeah, very conversation yeah, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, very conversation yesterday. So, so the, the kind of house I live in yeah. is detached with room to, to put the equipment in, but I have a common boiler. At the moment, yeah. I don't have a, um, I don't have a water tank. So I would have people, if I'm going to go mm -hmm. down that route, yeah. I need to think very carefully about my house. Mm -hmm. If I live in Terrace County, Douglas, and I want an EV, I have to think very carefully about how yeah. I'm going to charge that and where I'm going to go. So there's, you know, we, we know that there's a real pent up interest just for basic information. Yeah. We are yeah. not going to sell those things and we are not going to install those things, but we do think we've got a role to play in helping them really yeah. understand it. Can I come back onto this electric charger thing again? Because what I found after buying the electric vehicle is a 13 amp block, which is about the same size as a brick. Which is it looks a little bit like a, a, a charger for a laptop, but it's perfectly satisfactory for almost all journeys on the island map. When you plug that thing in, you get about 100 miles. That's the 30 amp plug, not, not the, 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 the 40 one. Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, if I, if you, I don't think that people actually need a pod plug or uh, they actually can charge their car off the grid off the 30 amp. So, but the so problem is, so for, for me to get the smart meter, I had to prove that I was going to have this pop point put in. And that, that's, that's counterproductive in terms of the rollout of the smart meter, because if most people who are going to make a journey of what's maximum, if you go to the end of the island and back in the day, you know, you're looking for 60, 70 miles, if you power, if you plug in your EV at night, at nine o'clock in the morning, you've got at least 100 miles over on that from the 30 amp plug. So, so really, you know, yeah. you shouldn't rock it with the fact that people have got to pay a thousand pounds to put in yeah. A, yeah. a meter. Yeah. Actually, they don't need it. It's not the need. it's not the pod point that's the need for the load. We need to consider the impact on the network. So it goes to the other side of with generation. We've already got constraints there as well in terms of uh, wind. Uh, Eric and Michael were about to constrain customers there one second into the line because I know you don't want to go on the network and do so. So, smart meters give us that. We'll be able to do a lot more. Your yes, there's a requirement to show us, and I've got a plug in hybrid, so I don't get the tariff. That's just personal opinion about that. But, um, but people are still going to take advantage of it. It's you still cost you money to charge the car at the same rate. Yeah. So people are still going to take advantage of the cheaper rate in the, in the night time, even if they're using the brick charger. Yeah. So they're getting it at uh, eight pence a kilowatt hour instead of 18 or whatever it is. So that, that message is still valid. My point is this, that you don't necessarily have to improve and the, and the monthly does not have to, shouldn't be, that people think they need to spend a thousand pounds on a charge point when actually they can do it off the existing electrical infrastructure in the house. It's just so the so there, is, there is an aspect that I have to look at. That's, that's where the, well, you're right, in terms of really the pod point, absolutely it, not. It's 30 amp, it's a regular plug, but you plug it onto a regular 30 amp circuit. It's not going to my region. No. There is a limitation on that. I, I, I can't remember specifically, but there's a limitation on leaving permanently charging the EV with the 30 amp socket. You can dedicate it. It's a slight, if not a slight bit load, the kettle's 13 ounces and it's off and it's loaded. You can pull an EV on, special bigger EV, but it's 12 hours. The car, the car sellers on the island are not giving customers that message. I know. When they gave you the block, they said, you plug it in, you're ready to plug it in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mine has been doing the people in the airport security office, for example, and he's like, we can have 
200 cars on the phone line, and maybe 10 of them are electric. But he's not got a phone. He's not got anything to charge anything. So they run out by the time they've gone on their flight. Yeah, back and about, I think it costs three seconds to be charged, charged up while they're waiting. While they're waiting. Right. We're, inter we're interested in all of this as a business, but also as a business as well. In terms of the vehicle it wants, um, to take the battery, have a running battery, the normal things of car driving, uh, once it's been local and everything. Um, so that may, but we've seen that a lot down with electric vehicles go flat and get into recovery because it's a routine. It is because that bridge is attached to a yeah. yeah. um, if, Especially if everyone's turning this way. Yeah. yeah. So, and that, that's a, a limitation to say we have got we we got caught out of lockdown and just the lockdown again. Um so it, it's got a full bridge frame, it's got a full driving battery, but you can't pull off the car and drive. Um <laughs> so that's that kind of driving exercise <laughs> that running battery. Uh, in terms of uh well yeah well maintained car will sit for the uh, if it's determined an offering there is a commercial aspect to the new challenge I think. And then the other thing I was thinking about this, you know, when you get your internet into your house and you've gone fiber, yeah. I had to buy all these, I mean, it's disgusting, but I had to buy all this stuff to get it connected from one unit to another because the wall was thick. Or, or yeah, we had to go for it, that's going to my ceiling, yeah. holes in my ceiling. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 People are going to worry about that. That's what. Well, that's the other question. How does yeah. that connect to your phone? Is it just you? Is that connected to your Wi Fi then? No, no. So, what we're. Um, we can talk about the you use the power of both the phone and the signal. So, what, what's coming what is. Um, well, what about some dongle? So, a communications module which will fit under there and that will provide a link to your device. Right. You can't use the Wi Fi at that point there. Uh, so that's that's the total option for those who are really interested in second by second. So that way, we've seen in the UK that in on display, we've gone out about a couple of different things, 30 pounds each, three four displays, and three four away. We've got massive wing waves. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Those who do engage with it will support that to say we're working with government uh, about supporting that to so free or much reduced. Um, but yeah, there's the dongle which will go to meet a little bit that that will talk to the directly more on the line to the business. Because the, the, the app doesn't work that way, client it, so it's still, still, yeah, I can say that I've been involved in the device and I find it quite happy to yeah. still get on. Yeah, so, so, so you'll see, um, this morning you would have seen yesterday's half hour, you'll see, you'll see, um, 8 a.m. Yeah. Uh, it's done that today. Got pencils there now, several hours, depending on the four hours, there's a few people who've been involved in the device. So, the jungle doesn't give you minute by minute that would you? Yes, they previous. No, the job will give you live. Yeah, yeah. 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 but the app would be a different way that's yeah. 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 So that's that. So without, without any additional information, you get half hour data for your meter. Um, if you're on a prepayment, we'll talk to you more frequently for us just to know where your balance is. Uh, in terms of a, a normal credit person, like without any other kit, you get half hour. If you pay for the dongle, uh, you can go straight to your phone and the app that way, and you get real real information, or you can go to RA. Because some of the other things is actually high usage. Yeah, actually, real life interaction. Yeah, I know there was some some of the big uh, engineering companies that wanted to do like energy savings and were doing, and they were saving tens of millions of dollars yeah. every year. Where they actually work with an energy consultant to actually do that sort of stuff, but actually that would give them that information. Yeah, it. so it'd be replaced with all of these energy devices going out to first ones that have um, it's clunky. Um, so that, that's where we need uh, to speak to the arms and see what we can see what the requirements are in the program. So we'll work with a build plan on that, but not have any yeah. replace that. Just the one we need. Is there any longer term plans to? The same capability in the back end platform more than this itself to improve the trust water capability there. Yeah, uh, water gas, they're jumping on to 
through large cinema and into the small very easily there is uh like a two that platform one thing with um this, this come up is actually linking electric and a lot of oil on um, actually taking what EVF nodes we use for all their ultrasonic readers to tank that present that information obviously in the display the app as well as to, to see your full picture. Um, so yeah, if it's if it be measured, we can insert back as well. Prosumers. Yeah. So you knew this was coming in there, isn't it? No, so, no, okay. no, so is this meter capable of measuring two-way electric flow? In other words, if you generate enough electricity during the daytime and your load is low, you can sell back the feedback power that you need. Yeah. Is this meter capable of doing that, or is there some modification to like the meter? No, we need to do uh, it anyway, in terms of uh, charging the meter to enable access. So, so won't be enabled by the function, though. Is that sort of like within a fear to be consumed? Like, would you be able to see that? Because I mean, that, that frame of meter is generally automatic, so I'm not going to be able to see that. So, I'm actually meeting uh, other companies tomorrow to take on board our own metric, see if that's taken up, seeing how exactly you put that information on the uh, apps. So, um, so, we're going to get a couple of kilowatts of solar and then test it. But in terms of capability, it's all there, it's really never accepted. So on your university of Salford video, um, V2G came up. Yes. You know, vehicle to grid. So um, you know you charge your you charge your battery at night at eight pence a kilowatt hour, and then you plug it in, and somebody else takes it. Out. That's all part of your load balancing, I guess. It, it can't be. Yeah. It's zero at the moment, but this is going to grow, isn't it? It's yeah. going to crush the balance. Um, so and it's been, been just to explain to everybody what it means, I think, because it's a bit confusing sometimes. Your car becomes the power source. Yeah. So all those people in that car park who are all yeah. in there, basically they all plug in at the business. And so the business is run yeah. from the electric cars to charge the boat and on, which then come and they become the power source. Because we've actually we're partners with Cambridge Cleantech and the and have actually got a webinar on next week, I think, with regards to using car batteries to power your home. Yeah. Well, people go to work, so they're taking the car yeah, to, work. to work. So it's actually the peak periods during the daytime when their cars are being used to power the business. I mean, I know that's a that's a bit, bit down the road, but in terms of your balancing, makes utilities, it must be something. It's, it's going to be necessary. I mean, put it in context. Uh, the Island Islands did the flood ten days ago. They had a major generating uh, outage. Uh, and they were below uh, a of infrastructure the so the battery was kept on them. So you are the more you would get, the closer you are to the major blackout. So you sort of major blackout in the UK, you yeah. sort of well, two, well, well, two, well, two, well, two to seven days to build the UK grid in the blue field. Wow. So the context and students are around that are massive. Uh, so so you just switch the energy connector on for the energy in the world. We'd be all right. We we can dump the we can back on in about an hour. Yeah. Uh, but if you, the downside of um, wind and solar is there's no inertia in the system. The fault drive through is very difficult. That, that's where battery is definitely not part of the play. The system yeah. security is mm -hmm. huge challenge. Who pays? How do we pay? Yeah. They're, they're, they're to come. Uh, but no, being able to grid is time use tariffs. So I've got heat pump. Uh, now I've only got to get the more battery range. Cold day, off peak comes in at four o'clock or, or end. It's an old house, you just get cold by like, six or seven o'clock. It's really cold outside. If we've got a penalty price charge on the tariff to discourage peak consumption, I could use my computer product and vehicle out of heat pump. So there's no impact to business. I charge it half peak, it's cheap, and I can keep my house warm and the lights on without any cost impact. So there, there are definitely future cases that will come. These are group controllers are a little bit uh, new. We've got the ability to switch them from this product already. Uh, I think it's probably going to be a standardization to come. So in the UK, EVs are a big group. They're really concerned about the lack of power and so there's work to come, I think, in the market. Capability is more probably there now. And without this, none of that is possible. Um, really really quickly, we have a 
much really because yeah. I have a chronic asthma. Huge allergies as well, but we won't get rid of the dogs. Well, I have these um, air to air call air, yeah. Yeah. air yeah. all around yeah. my house just to keep them. Well, if that works, that's mm -hmm. dead. Yeah, I like sure. the sound of the health yeah. mm -hmm. especially uh, now the man because it's quite a damp place, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of drafting things. Yeah. Well, the, the first use case of the wearables are uh, against like the get rid of what's going on. So people yeah. were terrified to either heat the house or put the brake on. So you've got horse on the walls, you've got yeah. mold spores in your house, yeah. anything with uh, oh. a good use of the plastic pulp. But actually, the see the uh, self introduces for that uh, survey, but their find is incredible. When you start putting coffee in the air, it's just the same as in the brain, just by yeah. being able to educate yeah. and show actually. Yeah. Um, it's quite not being educated, but you know, it's clearly better. So it's better. Presenting information quickly is then, you know, yeah. um, in the future, we'd love to bring some smart learning back to the play platform. So you can use the devices, you have an app which is different things like any text. That can also be a huge yeah. problem. No, Showing true. people visually how expensive and accessible the viewpoint is over the years, as you know, is a massive problem. I mean, we see with prepay now, key weeks must be down, ten times more than average. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same property. Something else is just wrong. So there's a bit of the unknown, and, yeah. and forcing yeah. people to make that decision between two or three. Yeah. Which shouldn't happen. No, no, yeah. We'll social benefit. I don't think it's. And then we're 50p in the meter, right? Yeah. 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 So going forward. Yeah. 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 Going forward with regards to building that, what do you guys think is the green line? Will that be in the regulations that all new builds have to have these in? And then you mentioned the Balaclava yeah. estate, for example, has that got does that have to be built with those? No, there's no change to build the regulations into those. It's up to the builders, isn't it? I mean, like, no, no, is that, should, 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 should we go through the regulations at some point? Is there going to build yeah, houses yeah. without heat pumps or without smart meters? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's not that it should be obliging new builders to have. Yeah. To have yeah. 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 Why would you have the big Balaclava and Tucker? Maybe because there's not all the bolts in it, isn't it? So, what was the regulation? That's just, it just seems like, it's it's sorry, it's maybe just better. It's the government to just lock the door whilst the back of the door is bolted. Yes. You're going to, you know, if you dig up the prom and then 10 minutes later, there's a utility company wants to dig up the prom that we just actually spent millions of pounds on. And it just feels like there's no formal thinking. So, why is this as part of a government rollout? Because you are a government agency, not gone. Right, all new builds have to start yeah. January 2021. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. to have this in. I don't understand why we're going to have to. Yeah, and then we're going to have all these yeah. retrofits. That's going to then cost us more money and more inconvenience for homeowners. It's just seems a lack of planning. I'm this is probably not the right reason. I know, yeah. I, know. Yeah. I appreciate some of your decisions. No, no, no. It's just being raised. It's just being raised. It's just being raised. It's just being raised. It's just being Absolutely, like we're chasing our tail. We're not. Yes, I, I, we, I, we, we know. I mean, I sit obviously with Sarah on Compassionate Island Manor. We have been talking about smart meters for 18 months. So if we've been talking about it in a charitable creed. But why hasn't this been talked yeah. about in the construction industry? And why haven't they gone right? Let, let's just. Is it cost of money? Yeah. Right. And that, they but but you've got to put a meter in anyway. So why not put a meter yeah. in? No. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. As a consumer, it makes absolutely no sense to me now. Just in terms of the meter, there is no legislation or change. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's frustrating that since we wanted to go live, that it's probably 3,000 or less than that. 10,000 meters on it that will have to change. That's that's unfortunate. It will take us four years to roll this out. Um, but you see, no, but, no, but, no but that, so why are we waiting for right. the So one of the buildings, so one of the buildings uh, states is a private one, yeah, by a private builder. The the the, re, the school hill build in Castle Town is government's commissioner. They should be doing it. Yeah, that's hundred percent. Uh, we can't. Uh, we're, we're not at a stage where we can talk to developers about. But the regulation, at least that whether it's private or whether it's corpy, it, it shouldn't make any difference. The utilities are responsible for putting in that meter. Yeah. So why are we putting in old kit when we know we're moving to a new kit? Yeah. It just makes no sense to me. You can't at install all. anything which has been tested. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, that makes sense. They just want to cancel it. Let's not cross the. This is just a bit of a And they're building that. So we, we so. could of and um, we've had issues. So these this needs to be further up there. It's good up the air, it's not an impact. Yeah. But we are finding things that we have to so that's it. So it's just yeah. about what it's it's been a little bit of yeah. difficult. Yeah, we, we are behind where they like yeah. to be, but so they could they could get it again. What we need they to make sure is that yeah, but it's got to be put into the building right. Yeah, if it's heat housing, smart things, the biggest is fine. That needs to be That's all we can buy. It's all that's going to go in. The technology yeah. needs solar panels. Yeah. That's all yeah. that's the show. And to well, understand that, I don't. I have no issues about that sound building. What kind of heating they want to put in? I get all that, but I think if the utility company, it just feels like there's no. We've known about smart meters for a number of years, and I appreciate, like I say, the long term plan. So when you go live, when you build a new house after the day, that's the first day or the day, whatever it is, after that day, a new build will be in there, have we fixed it? So yeah, before we get to that area, every year, just that line, yes, we've got a very small I think we're going to use the law to remove it. So we are on pile is it's it's July. Sign pile up for trial end of July. Yeah. So it's the all we are in July will make that go and go to and then we will yeah. everything from that point on. With a lead in, and we'll know <coughs> over the next few weeks we'll be going to our guests if we found an issue. Uh, but, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. well, I think it's great. Well, I'm not really happy with what it is. I'm just feeling like yeah. 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 no, it's no, it's it's it. I know. No, this should go further. It should be part of the net zero initiative. No new bills without fully decarbonised houses. That's government legislation. Well, that will come, yeah. Great, it will come. Yeah. Just one last thing with my experience of Chinese manufactured equipment. <laughs> when you do the trial, I think the old Peter is going to No, no, no. <laughs> if it was my business, that's what I'd do. Because oh. I've, I've used Chinese stuff before, okay? And, you know, the price is very low, but the build quality is low as well, and the reliability is. Oh, just to just to sort of only play concerned about that. At the moment, our meters are all coming from China. I've been for the last 20 years, maybe years down the sea. We all know if it's cheap, there's a reason for it. And this is the real. No, I'm serious. No, no, no. We, we've had Chinese equipment that's yeah. failed up in London. Yeah. So, uh, just, just, I mean, just, 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 Thank you so much.